pure substances, elements and compounds. The copper that makes up this wire is a pure substance. But what exactly is a pure substance? A pure substance is a material that is made up of the same type of particle all the way through. Copper is a pure substance and so contains only copper particles. Each of the copper particles is the same as all the other copper particles. Pure copper contains only copper particles. This is solid copper. We can tell by the way the particles are arranged. In solids, the particles are in a regular pattern and they are very close together, just as you can see here. In liquid copper, the particles would be arranged randomly, but still very close together. In copper gas, the particles will be arranged randomly, but very far apart. All of these are copper particles. All copper, no matter what state it is in. It is made up of just copper particles. For more information on the way particles are arranged, and how the particles move when substances are in different states, see the fundamental states of matter nuggets that look at the particle model. Different substances contain different particles. So while pure copper contains only copper particles, pure water contains only water particles. For ease, both copper and water are shown here as solids. You can sort substances into two groups, elements and compounds. Copper is an element and water is a compound. Copper is an element. Elements cannot be broken down into other substances. There are about 118 known elements and every material in the universe is made up of one or more elements. Elements are made up of tiny particles called atoms. Atoms are tiny particles that make up all matter. Atoms vary by their type and their size. An atom is the smallest part of an element that can exist. Copper is an element, so the particles in copper are atoms. An element is a pure substance made up of only one type of atom. Water is a compound. A compound is a substance that is made up of atoms from two or more different elements that are strongly joined together. We can see here that each water particle is actually made up of three atoms and that they are from different elements. One is from an element called oxygen and the other two are from an element called hydrogen. Compounds are pure substances made up of two or more elements strongly joined together. Water is a compound, so the particles in water are molecules. Let's quickly look at how molecules like water are represented in particle diagrams, then we will cover the definition of a molecule. We use a simple particle model to explain the characteristics of the states of matter, solids, liquids and gases. The particles in a solid are very close to each other, in a regular pattern and held in fixed positions. The particles in a liquid are in contact with each other, are not in fixed positions so they can move around, but fill the bottom of the container they are in. In gas particles, they are far apart from each other, filling the container they are in. When we talk about the particle model, we use small, solid spheres to represent the particles. These particles can be single atoms or molecules though, if we use our examples of copper and water. The particles we're talking about when we discuss copper are copper atoms. The particles we're talking about when we discuss water are water molecules but we can use solid spheres to represent both atoms and molecules in these type of diagrams. Now, let's look at the definition of a molecule. A molecule is a structure that is made up of two or more atoms that are joined together. They can be the same type of atom or different types of atoms. On the left, we can see elemental molecules made of the same type of atom. On the right, we can see compound molecules made of different types of atoms. In summary, a pure substance consists of only one type of element or compound. Keywords Atom, the smallest particle of an element that can exist. Compound, a pure substance made out of more than one type of atom. Element a pure substance 
made up of only one type of atom. Molecule, a structure that is made up of two or more atoms that are joined together. Particle, a very tiny object, such as an atom or a molecule, too small to be seen with a microscope. Particle model, a way to think about how substances behave in terms of very small moving particles.